Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss marker interface in Java language. Okay, so go to the computer screen. I will discuss elaborately what is marker interface. Okay. Today I will discuss the topic marker interface in Java language. Okay, so at first we should know what is marker interface. And also you should know use of marker interface and also we create custom marker interface. Okay. So at first we know what is marker interface. Okay. An empty interface in Java language is known as a marker interface. That is it does not contain any methods or fields by implementing these interfaces. A class will exhibit a special behavior with respect to the interface implemented okay some java interfaces have no members like java.lang.clonable and java.io.serializable interfaces okay both interfaces are marker interfaces why because it has no members okay marker interface is used to mark a class for some purpose purpose does not require any additional functionality. For example, java.io.serializable interface is defined in two java.io classes. One is object input stream and another object output stream. Okay. Marker interface provides runtime information about object. So the compiler and JVM have additional information about the object. Okay. So we'll go for an example. So at first we take a class, suppose we put the class name here, student, okay, and the modifier is provided here, public, okay. Now at first what happened, we import a class, which is a scanner class, just write import java.util.scanner, okay, and here we provide a class student, and here we just implement the clonable interface which is a marker interface so just write clonable c l o n e a b a l e which is a system defined marker interface okay and now we define here int h and we define string name to instance variable okay after that we are defining the constructor just write public student and here we just pass int edge and just write string name simple okay and within that just write this dot h equal h and just write this dot name equal name simple and within that class we define a method suppose write public void display okay and and just write here system dot out dot println and within parentheses and within double quote suppose write name of the student is and put a colon and then close the double quote and just write plus and just write name and put a semicolon at last okay now write system dot out dot println and suppose right here age of the student is put a colon and then close this double quote and just write plus h okay means concatenate to string okay now we define the main method so just write public static void min and as an argument sent string edges means string array and also just write throws exception okay within the main method we are create the object of the scanner class just write scanner sc equal to new scanner and pass as argument system dot in okay close it and end with semicolon okay and now just write system dot out dot println and just write here enter students name and put a colon here and end with semicolon okay and just write here string just write name equal 
and just write sc dot next means we call the next method to take input as string okay again write system dot out dot println and same way just write enter students age and put a colon and then close with semicolon and then write int age equal just write sc dot next int so it's a method through which we can take input in form of integer okay and now what happened we just instantiate of the class student just write obj1 student obj1 equal new student and pass as argument age comma name okay and put a semicolon here and now again we write student obj2 equal and now what happened we just casting just write student within parentheses and just write obj1 dot clone means we call the clone method okay and now after that just write obj2 dot display means we call the display method here okay and now if we run this java code so at first suppose we write here omit okay and now enter the age suppose the age is 30 and press enter so it just print name of the student is Amit and age of the student is 30. Okay. So this is the example of your inbuilt marker interface clonable. Okay. Here what happened? We have a class with the name student which implements the marker interface clonable. In the main method, we are trying to create an object of the student class and clone it using the clone method means just using this method here okay a marker interface is also called a tagging interface okay and is used to indicate or inform the JVM that a class implementing this interface with some special behavior an efficient way to classify code can be achieved using the marker interface okay now go for another example just go file and put a class name suppose the class name we have provided here example and modify is public and before that we just define interface suppose the interface name we provide here marker okay it's a user defined interface and we don't put anything within that means we are create a marker interface means the marker interface actually what which have no attribute or no method within that okay now what happened after that we create a class just write class a and now we implement this marker interface just write marker and what within that define a method and just put the name display and as a body of the method we are just write system dot out dot println and within parentheses and within double quote just write here suppose technical R Cohen simple and close it with a semicolon okay and now within this example class we are defining here our main method just like public static void main and as argument sent string ARGS okay and now what happened we are just instantiate of the class a and just the reference variable suppose we provide here obj equal and just write new a means we are just instantiate of the class a okay now we check a condition just write if and within parentheses suppose we write obj instance of your marker interface just write marker okay and after that what happened we are just put some code here just write obj dot call the method display and close it with a semicolon okay now what happened if we execute this java code so just see what happened is just print technical arcuate means what happened this condition will true why because the marker interface and the interface name is marker we are providing it doesn't have any field or method but it implements within the class a and it's just checked obj instance of marker interface or not means they have the marker interface name is marker and it's a true and it's just called the method which is provided within the class a which is display okay in earlier versions of java marker interfaces were the only way to declare metadata about a class but in modern java 
from java 1.5 version interfaces have no place they can be completely replaced by annotations which allow for a very flexible metadata capability if we have information about a class and that information never changes then annotations are a very useful way to represent it okay so that's the way how we can define a marker interface and what its use and how we can define our own custom marker interface okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye